Obrigado, Cristian. Uh, hello. It's a great pleasure to be here. I would like to talk about a uh, result uh, sheet with Carlos Gustavo Moreira, better known as Google. The main motivation of our work is understand uh, the projection, when the projections of a fractal set contains a no empty open set. To fix notations, let pi from n to rk be a linear map, and k a fractal subset or rn. With these notations, our general question is as follows. In order to give a positive answer to this general question, so necessary, con, uh, so necessary, uh, there are some natural necessary conditions. For instance, the linear map must be subjective, and the how the dimension of the fractal set is at least k, since the how the dimension uh, does increase by Lich's map. The first general result in that direction uh, were motivated by the theory of homoclinic bifurcation. The first one was proved by Newhouse in the 70s and says for pair of regular cantor sets with product of finite bigger than one, the arithmetic difference of the two regular cantor sets contains an interval. A regular cantor set is the maximum invariant for a one-dimensional spending map of class C1 plus with a Markov partition. And what about with this necessary, uh, necessary condition? A regular cantor set can have uh, thinness near to zero and at the same time have the dimension near to one. Then trying to solve this gap, Pal is conjectured in 1983 that for generic pairs of regular cantor sets with some other dimension bigger than one, their arithmetic difference contains an interval. Interval. Well, there is a, the, the arithmetic difference of two regular cantor sets is closely relating to the intersecting property after a translation, as this equivalent say. In order to solve this conjecture, uh, Moreira in 1993 introduced the concept of stable intersection. Two regular cantor sets have stable intersections when they are, they are intersecting after any small perturbation in the topology of the C1 plus regular counter set. Um, solving strongly the palace conjecture, Moreira and Jocos proved, proved that there is an open and then subset of pair of regular counter sets with some other dimension bigger than one for which the, the open set of parameter of translation given the stable intersection is open, is dense and of total measure in the arithmetic difference of the two regular counter sets. Uh, 
then not uh, more than a generic, the result is for uh, open in the say, say one topology and then in the infinite topology. That's uh, in some sense a uh, strongly solution to the Bayes conjecture. Now we come back for a general setting. Let pi from I n to R k be a fit uh, surjective linear map. Just call it, just call it a uh, projection. Um, k1 add to kn a uh, regular counter sets. Our main questions, question is the following. For generic n top of or regular counter sets, when the projection of their, their Cartesian product contains an, an empty open set, where the Moreira cost theorem gives a complete answer for the case when n equal to 2, k equal to 1, char uh, characterized by the condition of sum, so the sum of the Hadoop dimension bigger than 1. The goal is answer this main question for arbitrary dimensions nk and arbitrary projection pi. Well, in order to give a positive answer to the main question, uh, natural condition, uh, a natural question emerge. Is the usual, the usual necessary condition, the sum of the Hadoop dimension bigger than k, uh, sufficient for, gen for general operation? The answer is no. If we look for this particular projection, if the projection of the Cartesian product of four regular counter sets contain uh, an open set, then the arithmetic difference of the first two regular counter sets, looking in these coordinates, contain an interval, an interval. Then the, the sum of half the dimension is bigger than one. The same for the other two regular counter sets. And we need, us, us, we need the, the usual necess uh, necessary condition. We not the, this, the usual, in this case, the usual necessary condition derived from the, these two previous conditions. But in general, we can take this condition, but for instance, this one failed. Well, looking for a other necessary conditions. Note the following relation. By linearity of the projection, we have this relation, where A1 to E1 to En is the canonical basis of Rn, and capital A is any uh, subset of the set of indices from one to n. Applying how the dimension in, in both sides, this implies the, this in inequality. Then, in order to give a positive answer to the main question, we get some nece uh, necess necessary conditions. For instance, when I is the empty set, we record the subjective condition. When I is the total set of indices, we record 
the usual condition. Um, there are another two to n minus two conditions, or necessary conditions, in order to, to give a positive answer to the main question. Then, a natural question could be, are those two to n conditions sufficient in order to give a positive answer? More precisely, for generic n topper for regular counter sets, we satisfied uh, satisfying this two to n minus one condition. Does the projection of the Cartesian product contains a uh, no entry open set? The answer is yes. Well, we defined uh, a stable projection value. What if a parameter t from in RK is a stable projection value for an n topper of regular counter set if it's a projection value still after any small perturbation of the n topper of regular counter set? And the main result is the following. There is an open and dense subset of the n toppers of regular counter set satisfied the two to n minus one condition for which the, the open set of stable projection values is, uh, is dense and of total measure in the projection of the Cartesian product. Uh, this uh, gives the positive answer to the, our main question. I would like to remark that for the open and total measure or set of projection with the property to preserve the dimensions of the canonical cast space of Rn, the two to n conditions are reduced to the single usual condition. For this particular projection, obviously outside of the previous one family, the existing conditions are reduced to uh, the following couple of conditions. The sum of the first two regular counter set dimension is bigger than one, and the other dimension, the sum of the other dimension of the other pair is bigger than one, two. Well, we record the Morela Yoko theorem with the arithmetic different function. For this other particular projection, the stable projection value definition means a stable intersecting property after the, the value translation. In particular, for a generic n top of regular counter set with some how the dimension bigger than n minus one there is a translation of them with simultaneous stable intersection. And for this other particular projection, the result talks about simultaneous stable intersection of two independent pairs of regular counter sets. It's me. In this case, we have a stable intersection of two regular counter sets and at the same time, a stable intersection of other two regular counter sets. Well, like the Moreira Yokos result, a compact recurrent criterion is crucial in the proof of the theorem. We, we intro, introduce some proof uh, multidimensional version of the scale recurrence lemma 
Uh, no, it's, we use a probabilistic argument. The idea is define a family of random perturbation. It means we construct a family of perturbation indices by elements of a probabilistic space and prove that a required perturbation is speaked with probability with positive probability in this near to one. And the other and the the main new in ingredient of the proof is a new Marshall type theorem. It says for an entropy of border set satisfy the the 2 to n minus 1 inequalities for almost every dilatation made in each, in each of the border sets, the projection of the Cartesian product has positive k-dimensional Lebesgue measure. Well, the, in the proof of the uh, Marshall type theorem, we use uh, potential theoretic methods for here transform and convex analysis. Specifically, we need to to understand the following polyhedron given explicitly by these two to n inequalities. The following lemma was crucial in the proof of the, Mal the Maltran type theorem. Uh, this lemma says that give gives um, an implicit form of the polyhedron. The, uh, the combinatorial nature of this lemma appears because the vertices of the polyhedron are closely related with how the projection at over the cast spaces, the canonical cast, cast spaces or of Rn. In other words, if we look for this set I look for uh, and look basis of RK in this set and codify this basis by zero one vector, uh, vectors with ones just in the position of the basis, then this codified basis vector are exactly the vertices of that polyhedron. This is the, the key in the proof of the Maltran type theorem. Uh, thank you very much.